For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. The Nasdaq experienced a significant decline, marking its worst trading day in nearly two months. The primary catalysts for this pullback were Microsoft and Meta platforms, which we'll dive into shortly. In the background, Treasury yields remained steady throughout the afternoon, as investors waited in anticipation of an upcoming wave of corporate earnings reports and Friday's all-important employment report, which is expected to provide fresh insight into the current state of the labor market. Conversely, Bitcoin faced a steep drop as it approached $70,000, with many investors choosing to take profits. On Wednesday afternoon, both Microsoft and Meta platforms released their quarterly earnings, and while both companies exceeded analyst expectations on both revenue and net income, the reaction from investors was far from positive. The tech giants did not only report mixed guidance for future performance, but they also underscored the enormous capital spending they have planned. For the last quarter, Microsoft's capital expenditures reached $20 billion, of which $14.9 billion was dispersed in cash, a 50% increase from the same period last year, and more than the company's total annual expenditures prior to 2020. Meta Platforms also raised its full-year capital expenditure projection to a range between $38 billion and $40 billion, up from the previous range of $37 billion to $40 billion. These elevated spending figures underline the extensive resources these companies are dedicating to remain competitive in the technology landscape. Meta Platforms Chief Financial Officer Susan Lee addressed this matter on the company's earnings call, stating, We anticipate a substantial growth in capital expenditure in 2025. With this expectation and our backloaded 2024 capital expenses, we foresee a notable rise in infrastructure-related costs next year, largely due to increased depreciation and operating expenses related to our expanded infrastructure investments. The race to lead in artificial intelligence is proving to be an exceptionally costly venture. Not only does the development of expansive language models demand considerable power and resources, but the construction of physical data centers necessary for these models adds a separate set of financial demands. Alphabet and Amazon have also allocated significant portions of their annual revenue to capital expenditure, though their investments are not as extensive as those of Microsoft, despite the massive hype surrounding artificial intelligence. There is concern that these companies have yet to see tangible returns on their heavy investments. However, technology executives argue that substantial spending is necessary to secure future growth and opportunity. Microsoft Chief Financial Officer Amy Hood reinforced this perspective on the earnings call, stating, it's essential to invest now to be ready for rising demand. Morningstar's equity analysts echoed this sentiment, noting that although Meta Platform's investments in generative artificial intelligence may raise concerns, they maintain that the true value will ultimately be realized within Meta's core advertising services. Overall, analysts remain optimistic about the outlook for large technology firms, despite some voices of caution worried that they may be reaching a limit in their growth. Meanwhile, Comcast saw a surge of more than the 3% after news emerged that it it might be exploring a possible separation of its cable business. This quarter, the network provider experienced a temporary boost from the Olympics, but still saw a decline of 365,000 cable TV subscribers. In other market highlights, Peloton Interactive experienced a significant rise of nearly 28% after exceeding earnings expectations and introducing a new chief executive officer. Carvana also saw strong performance with a gain of over 19% following an earnings report that exceeded expectations, marking an impressive turnaround for the car selling platform. Booking Holdings, the parent company of travel websites, achieved an all-time high after reporting exceptional earnings. As a result, its stock price increased by almost 5%. The day's activity was not without its challenges, however. Trump Media and Technology Group faced another trading halt after its share value dropped sharply early in the day, ultimately ending the session with a decline of over 11%. Estee Lauder experienced a difficult day as well, with its stock plunging by nearly 21% due to missed earnings estimates, withdrawal of its forward guidance, and a reduction in its dividend. The cosmetics retailer faced a triple setback that was hard for investors to overlook. Electric vehicle manufacturer Nikola Corporation also saw a decline, with its stock down by more than 7% after reporting a larger-than-expected loss in the most recent quarter. Meanwhile, 
while Supermicrocomputer continued its downward trajectory, falling almost 12% as investor concerns grew following the resignation of its financial auditor. The loss of its auditor has sparked fears that the semiconductor company may face delisting from the Nasdaq if these issues remain unresolved. eBay also faced a challenging trading day, with its stock dropping by over 8%. This decline occurred despite the company beating earnings expectations, as its forward guidance for the upcoming holiday season left investors disappointed. This development highlights the challenges eBay faces in navigating the competitive e-commerce landscape during the peak retail season. Robinhood, the preferred trading platform among Generation Z investors, experienced a notable setback, with shares falling by 17% after missing both earnings and revenue expectations. Despite a 36% increase in sales compared to the previous year, the company's revenue of $637 million fell short of the forecasted $658.2 million. Robinhood Chief Financial Officer Jason Warnick explained during the earnings call that the underperformance was partially due to analysts' misunderstanding of an accounting anomaly that had led to overly optimistic projections. Uber also faced a decline, with its stock down by more than 9% after its gross bookings, a metric that reflects revenue prior to subtracting other expenses, including driver compensation, fell short of analyst expectations. Nonetheless, there were some positives for the ride-hailing company, as it reported a 20% increase in year-over-year -year revenue, reaching $11.19 billion. Uber also reported earnings per share of $1.20, far exceeding analysts' predictions of $0.41. Cents. Chief Executive Dara Khosrowshahi commented on the company's strong performance, stating, We are fortunate to be experiencing solid results in our core business. In a contrasting story, Roblox saw its stock rise by nearly 20% following better-than-expected quarterly earnings. This favorable report helped the company recover from recent negative press surrounding allegations made by a notable short seller. The United States Jobs Report, set for release on Friday, is a highly anticipated event following the market's turbulent response in August. This report could once again stir the market if the employment data falls below expectations. Economists currently predict a gain of only 120,000 jobs jobs for October, which is less than half of September's unexpectedly robust 254,000 job increase. The unemployment rate is forecast to hold steady at a low 4.1%, though the effects of recent hurricanes and labor strikes could complicate the data. With a wave of earnings reports behind us, the market is expected to enter a calmer period on Friday. Dominion Energy is another company that investors are closely watching, which serves areas in Virginia and North Carolina, stands at the center of the artificial intelligence-driven data center boom. Dominion recently secured a new nuclear agreement with Amazon. Analysts anticipate earnings per share of $0.92 cents and revenue of $4.18 billion. Wayfair, on the other hand, is grappling with significant challenges in 2024. The online home goods retailer is caught in the crossfire of reduced consumer spending and has implemented cost-cutting measures to try to improve its financial performance. Faced with stagnant revenues, mounting debt, and concerned shareholders, Wayfair's management will be under pressure to provide answers and a clear path forward in their upcoming report. The consensus projections for Wayfair are earnings per share of $0.14 cents and revenue of $2.89 billion. In summary, technology stocks faced a downturn after recent highs due to high spending projections from major players like Microsoft and Meta platforms. Despite some disappointing outlooks, investors remain optimistic about the long-term potential of these tech giants, with analysts holding a positive view of their continued expansion in artificial artificial intelligence, and infrastructure. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.